have gotten yourself jacked for a role, and this photo, I don't know if we have it, I think we have it, it's, it's been everywhere. Oh, yeah. my God. You are just a wall of muscle now. Do you feel stronger? Do you actually feel like superhero strong? No, these muscles are decorative. They don't do anything. <laughs> they really don't. Emily will be like, can you open this jar for me? I'm like, probably not. Now, how did fans respond when you revealed I, Kumail Nanjiani, now have this physique? People expect me to be different, and I'm really not, I'm just, I am slightly less interesting because I do talk about working out a lot. Yeah. And I'm slightly less funny. Right. Other than that, no Same real. guy. Same guy. Same guy. Do people get intimidated by you now? Because... No, because of my voice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this one guy was like, I wish his voice would get a six pack. <laughs> uh, you, you are honored uh, that they put you, Pornhub put you in the muscular man category. <laughs> They did, you were in, this is a true story, you were in the Pornhub muscular men category. So, under the category, yeah, it was mature, MILF, and then muscular men, and it was a picture of me, uh, and they gave me a 10 year free subscription to Pornhub Premium. <laughs> You know, can I just say, I love the way the crowd reacted to that. Yeah. They were genuinely oh. excited. They, I'll they, tell you. They, they reacted as if you had been terminally ill and then suddenly you announced you're cured. <laughs> and it was about a 10 year subscription <laughs> to Pornhub. I will say, you know, because people are like, why do you need to p pay for porn? And I don't, I do not work for Pornhub. They have not paid me to say this. Right. But Andy does. Andy? <laughs> uh, I am furious right now. Go ahead. I'll I got share. a three-year a three -year premium <laughs> subscription. I'll share my login with you. We just have to coordinate All right, our sure, schedules. Sure, of so they you don't mean, like, together? Uh, no, no, oh, no. Oh, I understand. I understand. Okay, okay. <laughs> Not together. Because I mean, I, I'm open-minded, but it no. may seem weird. No, no, no. I don't mean. Are you? Right, I get it. I get you it. Didn't I mean, are you free I Thursday? No. I understand. Yeah. I understand. I would be like, I'll text you like, hey, stay off it for the next five to seven minutes. All right. <laughs> I'm going to the muscular men category. So, um, wait, so wait. So, it's, so you have access to a whole new world. Like, free porn is good, but when you go to premium, I could develop fetishes crazy ones over the next 10 years, and I know I'll be taken care of. Right. <laughs> There's a lot. I have no idea, like, wh what's happening on, pr on premium porn? Well, if that... I have to explain it to you, yeah. you wouldn't understand. I just picture it. the same stuff's happening, but they're all wearing, like, really nice hats, you know? <laughs> 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 the feet are slightly yeah. more pedicure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is nice. You got invited. It is nice. Yep, not that. <laughs> oh. This next thing I was going to say, you were invited to join, uh, uh, what's, was it Times 100 Most Influential People's List? Yeah, I was. Uh, and weren't you also asked to join the Academy? Yeah. I'm, I'm, the, the Movie Academy. The Movie Academy, which was great, and the, the Time thing, which was great. They pick 100 people every year, and again, people were upset. They were like, Camille. They were upset that you're in there? They were like, Kumail's on the list and Vladimir Putin isn't on the list? And I'm like, I don't want to piss him off. <laughs> it should be him, not me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know what? That is our Putin... That is our Putin camera, by the way. <laughs> Putin. <laughs> That's the one that goes right to him. <laughs> Great work, man. Yeah. Keep at it. <laughs> you have a fan. So. Uh, well, did, were people like, did people, you said that people were upset that like, hey, if you're on a list, I would think it makes sense because the minute you're on a list, there are people that are angry, well, why you and not that other person? Yeah, because there's always, honestly, I, I agree with them. I, sh I should not be on. I don't agree. I think you should be on the list. Oh, thank you so much. I think you're, I, I'm not just saying that to me, you're a very influential. Uh, <laughs> no, seriously, you are, you are. You're, you. You've got a big following. You've been, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, a big part of the community. Uh, I'm just throwing out words You're now. really <laughs> like, yes, bottom of the barrel there. You're a big part of the community. You're a human being. <laughs> yeah, you're a person. You have a- You inhabit Earth. You have parents that care about you. No, no, I'm, I, you have had a very successful uh, career, and I think you should be one of the well, time 100. Well, thank you. I just realized my parents are going to watch this and know that I have a 10-year subscription to Pornhub Premium. 
Hey, Help. guess it, Dad's gonna visit now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wish... I'm sorry, Mr. Nanjiani, but it's a known fact. I wish you could have seen what I saw. We just like two feet away, couldn't going, Dad's gonna visit now, and then eyebrows did a thing. That was the creepiest thing I'm I've ever creep. seen. Dad's gonna visit. You know, maybe you were right to cancel last time. <laughs> it felt very threatening. Dad's gonna visit. Oh no, lock the doors. Uh -huh. Dad's gonna visit. <laughs> it's also nice too that now he has a reason. Yeah. Not to visit you or anything, but like, what, he's got porn. Man, whatever works, yeah. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. I miss him. Let's talk about... <laughs> Dad, Come I have free Dad. porn. What's up about... Let's talk about Little America. I think it's an amazing project, uh, and I'm very excited for you. You were the executive producer of this show, Little America, and uh, this is, I guess, your effort project to get people to relate to the immigrant struggle, which- That's a tough segue pulled off very well. From, from porn Pornhub. To the, the lives of immigrants. Um, <laughs> Hey, um, everybody I'm sure needs fun, there are immigrants know? that have gotten their start in porn. <laughs> <laughs> you, you went back. You went back I and tried. You crossed the bridge, went back and jumped off I the bridge. I tried. <laughs> it's a job. I tried to it connect. It is a job. That is true. It is a job. Right. Yes. Yeah, and it's, it, they work hard. <laughs> um, <laughs> immigrants do, too. Um, I don't think this what show this? will air. Okay. <laughs> I have bring... a strong feeling that none of this will air, that they're gonna show a farm report <laughs> from the 1980s from Iowa. You yeah. just saw the live... But what sweet revenge for, to get on you for not showing up last time. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Uh, well, okay, so Little America is a show, it's an anthology show, so every episode is completely different, and they're based on real stories of immigrants to America. Um, and uh, it, the dramatized versions, you know, they're like actors and we, we, we wrote them and changed the story a little bit. But um, yeah, all eight of them are, are completely different, completely different towns. There's, uh, you know, people from Syria, Mexico, uh, um, it's like all over the world, Iran, um, India, mm -hmm. and uh, just very, very proud of the show. It's, uh, it's, it's on Apple TV Plus. I think, you know, I have, Many times, just living in, and you can live in any city in the United States and experience this, but in Los Angeles, when I encounter people who have come here three, four years ago, some of them not speaking the language and they're reinventing their lives, they're reinventing who yeah. they are in this foreign country, I'm so blown away. And, and when I talk to them, I think, I don't know that I, I don't know that I could do that. I grew up here and I'm the, ben I'm the beneficiary of so many advantages. Right. And these, you hear about these people and it is, that's why I think this project is such a great idea. Yeah, and you know, I've spoken to so many people. You'll meet somebody, like I was talking to this old gentleman and he was a, a chemist where he was from and now he was driving a cab, you know? So I think a lot of immigrants when they move, you sort of take a hit so that the next generation can have the life that they want for their children. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a tough thing coming to a place where uh, you might not speak the language and where your identity is not as valued, you know? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's sort of a tricky time for immigrants in America. Uh, Did you have, how old were you when you came here? I was here? 18. You were 18. Yeah. That's a very, I mean, that, that's a very young formative age to, to come here. That must have been tricky. Yeah, it was. But again, you know, I was very lucky in that my experience was, uh, I came for college, so I was in a bubble, I was cushioned, you know. And so my experience was not as as difficult as it could have been. So I, I feel I feel very grateful. Uh, but um, yeah, so so these all these these uh, stories are, I find them very inspirational, you know. Um, and I think the, I feel you know I've always felt there are the people who sort of have, it's a divisive issue, obviously the issue of immigration. And I feel like those people who are anti-immigration, I, I I'm like you were born here. These people chose to come here. They mm -hmm. fought to be here in a way you know, they're more American. I'm the most American man here, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Doesn't really sound like well, a Well, we're out of time. <laughs> uh, I think that's fair. I think that's... 
Andy's from Switzerland. <laughs> That's right, I'm all cheese. <laughs>